So in our previous class, I mean fundamental rights to cover koi silu. Wait. Yes. So, uh, last right I discussed going through that was article number 32, right to constitutional remedies. The very first point, Jundu prelims are important, that is, it is the uh, heart and soul of the constitution. Just revision at our we had already explained this in the last class. The second, uh, article 32, 2. Uh, mark kuribo. Article 32, two reads so kothase. What are reads? Reads are basically uh, the uh, way or the method by which uh, we can proceed the Supreme Court in a scenario jot fundamental rights violate hoise. Right. So these were the statements we had done. Uh, these are the reads that can be issued habeas corpus, mandamus, prohibition, certiorari, and quo warranto. I am making discuss kori maji. And then we had also discussed about uh, rates that can be issued by high courts. High court article number 226 under uh, rates issue. On the other hand, article 32 under only Supreme Court can issue the rates. I think we had done this very clearly. Differences are my size. Rates issued by Supreme Court and rates issued by high court or major key patakwa as a hekidemi size. Alright, so this is uh, today is almost uh, towards the end of all the articles. Ehini apna luke at a general reading divopare for prelims point of view. Iman extensively nelage. Again, like I said, only general reading. What is required? I mean, 32 already pohisu. Tar piso 32a, 33, 34, and 35. Yeah, in depth detailing nelage. Uh, what you can do is uh, we, I have added a few content here. You can read this or else Junkini uh, online. Sources by online network as online sorry uh give up now so notes as a probably sabo pare but not very extensively. Please do not dwell in it like we did the other articles. So article 32 I mean in depth discuss koilu jwagali. Article number 32A has been repealed. So your question nahe. Repeal doesn't uthai dele. Etia exists no kore. So this is not required. 33 uh, is an article jot armed forces and fundamental rights of because discuss hoy. So what happens is, in cases of armed forces, there is a security issue. So hey, karne tat kisuman fundamental rights abrogate kori diwa pari. Tat kisuman fundamental rights ami uh, the government or the parliament basically has the power to modify them. For example, jodi national security kotha hai, maji kun honor secret or kotha hai. So there, Article 19 can be uh, restricted. There will not be freedom of speech applied. Why? Because those might be national secrets. And like I said. Every article, every uh, almost all the articles or in the fundamental rights, they are not absolute. They are some are subject to morality, public order. So please remember that Article 33, armed forces and fundamental rights are about deal kore. Jot the parliament has the right to modify, modify some of the fundamental rights when it comes to forces. Which forces? Mostly the armed forces. That is the army, navy. Uh, Air Force, that is the national secret for security, that fundamental rights can be restricted. Okay, Sim, uh, say, similarly, Article number 34, it is restriction on rights conferred by this part while martial law. So, the keyword is martial law. If martial law is mentioned, then straight away go for Article number 34. Very clear. Okay, if martial law is mentioned, just directly go to go for Article number 34. And 35 is legislation to give effect to the provisions of this part, which means that laws can be made for constitutional remedies. That is all. So A2 component or part till uh, article number from article number 14 till 35, we have extensively seen Kunkini articles are important hoy. Kunkini articles are called general reading dibole hoy. Based on your time, please uh, arrange your strategy like that. Okay, second kotha to hoise article number 32 that we had done yesterday extensively. Hikinia me koisu 32a is repealed, 33 deals with armed forces and fundamental rights, these are keywords, 34 deals with martial law, and 35 deals with legislation to give effect. Mane a provisions kinik enforce kori bole legislations can be made. So that is all about till the uh, constitutional remedies or carnage unkini component as this is all about it. and uh, you can also keep a note of this that prelims are kind of extensively nalage. You can make a general reading out of it. I'll move ahead with the 
yeah so a to reading general reading on kanne mod bhai dosu it's taken from lakshmi kan itself so you can have a general reading here uh, difference between uh, martial law and national emergency national emergency ami porhim uh, future uh, in the upcoming classes but just for a general reading you can give uh, you can like uh, take a few minutes and read it later on then ek ko prelims point of view pe important content nahi so now we can it all up ami back trace korem so we have done fundamental rights from 14 to 35 but part 3 amar articles ase from 12 till 35 so a portion to more usually fundamental rights kora pisot ko so that it becomes a bit simplified from prelims point of view yat koi beshi eku ne lage so uh, article number 12 and 13 these two these two are not fundamental rights okay these are a part of part 3 which includes part three which includes the uh, fundamental rights but 12 and 13 itself are uh, itself is either a definition or about a concept called judicial review so article number 12 it deals with the definition of state why is this necessary because ami jetia ko that uh, the state will have uh, reasonable restrictions but the state cannot have negative restrictions so a state ami kak bujam what exactly is state that definition to it's itself given in the constitution but on the contrary there are some words like for example untouchability minority hekini amar definition are not provided in the constitution basic structure it is not defined in the constitution so hekini monot rakhibo that is why if constitution jodi kiba define thake taru eta extra article thakibo that is what it means on the other hand if you see untouchability the word minority ihotor karne extra ta article nai jo definition yeah as it so the the definition of state is provided in article number 12 unlike some other wait uh, let me remove this yeah unlike some other uh, technical terms uh, the definition of state is definitely provided and for fundamental rights it is given in article number 12 what is this definition of state yate ki ki poribo government parliament of india junto ami normally ko okay executive legislative organs of the union government states or india mane this is the union first of all ami union uh, government kotha koisu then we are talking about the state government etu ta ami janu e by default state or eta poibo what people miss or by exam of apna statement or didu e khini local authorities jene ke municipality panchayats district boards trust hobo pare these are also considered state then lic ondc uh, sail all statutory and non statutory or authorities statutory mane junkini as an act of the parliament jodi form hoise for example universities for example lic ondc sail etc bhoide loge loge anything can come in the ambit non statutory authorities junkini hoy to by an act form hua nai okay by a parliamentary act form hua nai but then also they will be considered state so this is one of the genius acts of the constitution makers now you can see je jeta ami state buli koi dim and when they say that the state uh, if the state violates so he state koidi ar loge loge all this will come into the ambit if a member of the panchayat if a member of the municipality if an if an executive from lic if an executive from ondc if an engineer from ondc anybody if he or she comes and tells you that you do not have the freedom to say this then you can approach the supreme court saying that ekhini ekhini jehetu amar uh the state a component of the state uh they have violated our fundamental right hence we can issue an issue a writ so that is how this concept works so definition of state that's why had to be clear nohole when we will issue the writs how will we know or who will we impose on the authority ka kami dim je ekhini manuhe jodi amar fundamental right kini um uh, violate kore then against whom will we issue the writs so in a way this is also a list which concerns that so anybody any member any authority which falls under these four headers or headings will be considered as state so as a result any uh, authority amongst these are liable or enforce kore bole apnar je kono dhoronor fundamental right jodi by chance violate hoyse then uh, you can enforce it via the supreme court by issuing the writs so that is the video core concept then ek example apnal ko just ahibo pare which of the following includes the state so tate akol government of india didibo state didibo ekhini apnaloke hoyto miss kori jao pare so make sure that you don't miss it municipality panchayat district boards in fact trust any kind of statutory non statutory authorities these are all considered as state so this is an important concept please remember 
from prelims point of view statement based uh, uh, questions thake, tarkane, to important hai. next is article number 13 article number 13 short form to hoise, judicial review judicial review so what is judicial review basically article 13 it declares that jodi enekwa kiba law at a parliament ba state e bonai okay ba any of these any of these components state or kunu ba eta of course laws are mostly made by the legislation but any rule any and i will come to it exactly law ki hai that also will be here but anyway so any laws which are inconsistent that means which will violate or which are not in accordance with the fundamental rights enekwa ji kunu law ba enekwa ji kunu regulation jun kini amar fundamental rights so against hoy ba fundamental rights kini violate kore that will be considered void void mane that law will not be considered valid okay it will not be valid i repeat any laws any law which is not in consistency with the fundamental rights if they go against the fundamental rights tene hole tene kon honor laws kini they will be considered they will be considered void and this is called the doctrine of judicial review now who will who will declare that it is void the power lies within the supreme court okay our a to the ahe amar article 32 and article 26 or ambit this judicial review is nothing but basically ki hobo jete ami uh, if the law is not in consistency with the fundamental right then we will issue a writ right if the writ is considered yes the fundamental right has been violated then that particular law will be declared void and as a result uh, that will be nullified from the from the particular manage uh, to legislation but regulation jute component so as a whole this will be given by the supreme court via which article we have already done this via article 32 and by the high courts via article 226 so i hope this is clear judicial review as the word suggests judiciary money definitely supreme court by high court they will be uh, responsible to check they will be responsible to guarantee that the fundamental rights are being uh, properly enforced that they are not violated and any such law which violates it will be considered void and unconstitutional okay by ultra virus will you call so that is the concept of doctrine of uh, judicial review the most important question is i mean law card to him okay again arbitrary to hop on more so that was also defined in the constitution so here are the four things permanent laws you can have call parliament is a bonai but state legislature is a bonai those are considered laws okay temporary laws for example ordinances issued by the president ordinances of kothami parliament or poem these are nothing but uh temporary laws when the key was parliament session of nabo hai again we'll do it in the parliament session more clearly but jodi aapna look already cover koisi then you must know when the parliament is not in session at that time uh the governor or the president they have the power to issue some temporary laws so they have a validity of around six months that is automatically that becomes void in case when the parliament is not in its sitting form okay so we'll do about this uh that those kinds of laws are considered or those kinds of temporary laws are also considered laws so any such law jodi ene ka temporary law jodi fundamental right of by chance jodi validate uh sorry jodi violate kore then that will also be considered void then statutory instruments in nature of delegated legislation for example orders by uh, law rules regulations a like general whatever it is anything everything is considered as a law non legislative sources of laws okay uh, custom or usage having the force of law non legislative sources as which means that for example they might not be given by the or they might not be passed by the parliament in the form of a bill but state legislature se hobo pare je hekini law pass kora nai but ji kono institution e nijo ekhon rules rule book banai rules ba guidelines banai jodi ta tu there is something which uh, does not or which violates the fundamental rights then that will also be considered void so as a whole in short the constitution makers again a genius mark here where they considered almost everything as a law like ile permanent laws hok by the parliament or legislatures like ile temporary laws hok like ordinances like ile statutory instruments any kind of rule or regulation or even notification then non legislative sources of laws custom or usage anything which might not be in the form of legislations that will also be considered as a that will also be considered as a law so almost everything any rule in the country if it is 
basically uh, violating the fundamental rights then they will be considered void and this is the concept of judicial review under article 13 so that is the concept to be covered prelims point of view are very very important okay yet statement based questions which of the following uh, are not considered laws this question has come before in one of the departmental exams it is the law consider uh, who has the power to uh, uh, to adopt the do doctrine of uh, judicial review it's basically the su supreme court under article 32 or else high court under article 226 okay so this was all about the fundamental rights almost everything has been covered here from 12 to 35 the part 3 okay part 3 12 to 35 is fundamental rights are here part of 12 and 13 are not fundamental rights 12 is the definition of state 13 is the judicial review 14 over 35 it is about fundamental rights fundamental rights as a sort of type of right to equality freedom then we have against exploitation then we have right to freedom of religion then we have right to constitutional remedies cultural and educational rights so when it comes to rights as our our direct jinkin article numbers as that you have to follow up okay so almost every particular uh, topic about uh, or all the prelims point of view pra kun kin important hoy aru general general jun kin apnaloke pohi pelai thodi bo lage hekini we discussed uh, what we are going to discuss now is the types of writs that we had done here I'll go back to this part yes article number 32 2 very important jun to koisilo je exactly apnaloke layman statement it way hoy je supreme court will issue writs uh, uh, when the fundamental rights are violated, but which article? Article 32, clause 2. Okay, please remember this. As you can see, clause or what have you put in um, all the question, all the exams? Kobar na kobar clause or a question ahe specifically article 4, uh, sorry, 15, 16. Uh, 32 uh, ya te ite lage hudha nai but there is a probability hudi ba pare so please look into that so according to article 32 2 <coughs> the supreme court shall have, have the power to issue writs and today we will discuss these particular writs that can be issued so let's quickly cover that okay the first writs writ is habeas corpus see for writs you have to understand the uh, concept because this is definitely going to come in the form of statements or prelims or duta question I say uh, excessively from uh, exclusively from writs only. So here you don't have to memorize the entire uh, chapter or entire thing that is in Lakshmi Kant or any NCRT. You have to understand the concept here. That is statement G and Hokyo, then you can uh, fit it in. So writs first habeas corpus. Yar Latin meaning hoy. Uh, sorry, Latin term hoi, jar meaning to hoise to have the body of. So, this basically is important. Yate yata keyword hoi, individual liberty. Okay. The second keyword is arbitrary detention. So, arbitrary mane jaha taha jenetene ba without any proper base. Okay, arbitrary. The word means without any proper base, without any proper foundation or evidence. Uh, uh, if a person, if a particular person is undergoing detention, detention mane hoise. Uh, under any kind of forced uh, uh, lawfully ja capture kora hoi, but lawfully jitya amar jailor bhuwa hoi, but then got honor. So any kind of any kind of arbitrary detention, okay, that is not considered. Now what is arbitrary? How will it be arbitrary when there is no proper foundation, no proper evidence? Okay, that is one thing. Second, I say the keyword, like I said, the first keyword, sorry, is was individual liberty. So, what is uh, liberty? We remember, uh, as we remember, it was the uh, absence of restraints. So, without any um, reason to hoi goal and against kaba icha biute jodi kaba bondi bonai rakha hoi without any evidence. Okay, that in that scenario, habeas corpus can be issued. Our heto karne kwa hoi to have the body of, to have the body of. So, what will happen? here is that a person okay any person who is detained who is or who has detained the person another person okay without like i said without any or arbitrarily arbitrarily without any legality okay that person has to produce the body of the latter which means suppose there is a person a okay and that particular person or association anyone has captured a person b okay without any uh, legality without any legality then the person a has to produce the second person 
that is why the term to have the body of okay habeas corpus corpus actually means body and habeas means to have so someone has had a body in this scenario it's a person of course it's not a dead body here who would have had a dead body but it's not a dead body so the particular person has to produce the the uh, the other person who has been detained illegally okay now yate apna luke eta bosu monot rakhibo that this can be issued against whom it can be issued against public authorities or private individuals both when i am saying person a or association that means what for example police the police has unlawfully detained one person okay and ka bahut cases hoy jo without any proper evidence without any proper warrant a person has been detained so in that scenario habeas corpus can be issued where the police if he to issue ho gol aro etu dekha gol je yes usually anaka no hoy definitely i'm just giving an example uh definitely if the police detain someone then it will be with evidences but just in case koisu uh, as an association so if the particular organization that organization has detained a person then aro je gom pai je that evidence was not there and it was illegal then the association is bound to produce the body bound to produce the bound to produce the person as soon as the writ is issued so it is important this that is why to koi jay koa jay je jehe tu hetu zabardasti ba he he manuhor liberty biruddhe hetu kaam kora hoisile that is why it is a bulwark of individual liberty it's a big protection apuna june tune ba muk june tune rasra pa uthai mili just because i did some mistake they cannot detain me or they cannot question me or they cannot capture me just because uh, of uh, some random activity without any lawful but without any legal document okay so that is important so wherever you find these keywords individual liberty arbitrary detention a word to apnaloke monot rakhibo it will relate to habeas corpus that means any arbitrary detention in case of any arbitrary detention the habeas corpus can be issued and it can be against both public and private individuals because it is possible that ajon manuyo kaba unlawfully detain ko rakhibo pare capture ko rakhibo pare ba eta public authority sabu they can it can be uh, it is possible that the person is detained that is why both these scenarios are taken into consideration please remember this please make sure that you don't confuse here because exam or ya duta question mainly hobo they'll ask you they'll give you the statement where they'll put these words arbitrary detention bhai dibo individual liberty bulwark bhai dibo pare bhai to dibo pare that this particular issue is uh, issued again uh, issued again, sorry this particular writ is issued against both the public and the private individual that is statement to dibo pare that this writ is issued only by public authorities by private individuals only then you have to choose the statement as it is asked okay whether right or whether wrong so this was the concept about habeas corpus there is one particular thing though when the particular detention or when the particular writ will not be issued jetia hai detention to lawful hoy jetia for example if the warrant is issued if um, it is in national security okay if it is uh, in terms of public order then the writ will not be issued jodi there is a contempt of legislature or court jodi kunu ba court ba legislature or bodnam korise but uh, illegal comments pass korise then there will be a detention if the detention is outside the jurisdiction of court mane ene kwa kunu ba da detention jot court e mat matibo nware this is usually in case of martial laws ba tene ke thake okay so mostly yat amar du tai point hude if the detention is lawful and contempt of legislature or court ei du ta point apnaloke monot rakhibo pare baki kita point iman prelims ot nuhude okay so habeas corpus i'll repeat it means to have the body of okay and who has the body if the body is detained illegally so in that scenario what will happen the habeas corpus can be issued and it can be issued against both the public authorities as well as private individuals yate amar monot rakhibo the key word is arbitrary detention okay if the detention is not rightful or legal the second writ is mandamus mandamus is again latin it means we command yate apunar hoise the command is given by the public and it is given to a particular official okay it is given to a particular official again a word to monot rakhibo because that will again is that is again a keyword it is against a official why is it uh, issued because in scenario, in any scenario when that particular official is not performing his or her duty okay in that scenario this particular writ is issued so it is a command that is issued by the court 
to a public official. Okay, remember the keyword. This is a public official. Okay, asking him to perform his or her official duties that he has failed or refused to perform. Any public official, if he is not performing a duty, for example, Ajita particular administration or position at a paise and that person is not issuing the order can i want an order hopper for example law and order buying was and there has to be a uh let's say order to uh release uh or let's say um, security forces will like permission people like okay to go to the site so then i want to know to the order to dni then this kind of writ can be issued and then the court it will ask or command the particular public official to perform the official duty so this is a writ that is issued only against see this is the keyword it can only be issued against public body okay a corporation inferior court a tribunal or government for the same purpose please remember this very very important okay from prelims point of view this is a high priority topic definition not the most important component is the public body or the public official it can also be issued against a public body only okay not against any private individual or a private body a corporation inferior court also for example supreme court a high court of Udibo command a tribunal tribunal are as you know these are some bodies which take care of some particular topics like a national green tribunal foreign tribunal and then government for the same purpose okay any government authority any public body any corporation anything but not private Okay, the writ of mandibus cannot be issued by a private individual. See, okay, this is the most important one. Yar bahire mostly questions bilag like, nuhu de yapra public or private or jundu kheli meli hoye baki hini. That is why they ask this question. It cannot be issued against the president of India or state governors. This is important. It cannot be issued against the sorry chief justice of high court. Okay, so these are important points. Habeas corpus. I'll repeat to have the body of against arbitrary detention individual liberty these are keywords habeas corpus it can be issued against both public and private individuals okay uh, in case detention is lawful or the contempt of legislature by leg uh, court hoy, then the writ cannot be issued important mandamus is we command command who only public officials and who can this be issued against mandamus can only be issued against public body corporation inferior court Tribunal governments, government, okay, all for the same purpose. You can um, our public issue a uh, public uh, officials are only against that, and it cannot be issued against the private individuals, president of India, state governors, chief justice, etc. Okay, so these are the key points of writs. Tuta writ ami koilu. Let's move on to the third one, which is prohibition. Okay, habeas corpus done, mandamus done, and now. Prohibition. Prohibition, as the word says, prohibition manne was said to forbid, to stop. The question here is stop who? So, prohibition and the next one, which is certiorari. These both are, these both are writs that are issued in terms of judiciary. Okay. Please remember this. And there is a particular trick here. Prevention is better than cure. Please remember this trick. I will explain in a while what it means. So, prohibition not ki hoi. Kune issue koi se a higher court. Okay. Kak issue koi se to a lower court. Remember, prohibition and certiorari are judiciary in nature, judicial writs hoi. In case of judicial kamote uh, black heri kora jai, uh, issue kora jai. So, what is the uh, scenario here? Who is it issued by? It is issued by a higher court to a lower court. Okay. Or a tribunal. Yes, tribunals are also quasi judicial bodies. This we will learn later on, but for now you can remember tribunals or lower courts. Kyo hoi ki dhorna reads issue kora jai to prevent the latter, latter mane the lower court to exceed jurisdiction or usurping a jurisdiction that it does not possess. So basically, basically what it means is the higher court, listen to this very carefully, it prohibits the lower court or the tribunal. Tribunal. It prohibits the uh, the higher court basically prohibits the lower court or the tribunal from exercising a jurisdiction. Okay, from exercising a jurisdiction. Kitya jitya he particular jurisdiction to high court under nai, but holo he particular uh, lower court to nai, and that does not fall in the ambit of the lower court. For example, there is a law which has been passed by the parliament. Okay, 
uh, let's say any particular law which has been passed by the parliament on a union subject mane juntu rokol central laws bana pare tate goi pelai this uh, the lower court ba high court e ketiao tate jurisdiction koribon mare if it's just because high court is basically in the state anyway the uh, the basic idea is that the higher court will always stop the lower court from exercising or exceeding its jurisdiction okay yet the keyword is say who is it issued by the higher court just look for these keywords higher court and who will uh, like who stops the uh, lower court the higher court or the tribunal it will get your point the lower court or tribunal okay now what happens is while mandamus ek hoy je we command tat jodi kam no kore then kam kori bole kwa hoy this ulta is inactivity okay so this is another keyword it describes inactivity where mandamus ek hoisile to perform the official duty here the lower court it forbids from the for, from performing the duty so that is why this statement mandamus directs activity prohibition directs inactivity okay again this is only judicial it ami korilu administrative legislative private individuals ok etu na pai no administrative authority legislative body or private individual they can issue writs against the lower bodies for example enekwa ketia hobo nware je district administration e kumba beleke ta ho department of upor prohibition or writ to apply hoyse that cannot happen okay so this is very important first thing i'll repeat it is issued by a higher court to a lower court or a tribunal okay when jeta he jurisdiction to that he surpass kore and in order for the lower court to not exceed its jurisdiction this particular prohibition writ is uh, it is examined or it is issued okay it is issued by the higher court the next one is certiorari certiorari is again juris jurisdiction yate ki hoy it is again issued by the higher court to the lower court but what happens here uh in this case the uh jurisdiction has already been done prohibition on it was preventing it was preventing see prevent the latter the final judgment is not made here okay it prohibits in the process of the judgment but certiorari is in the point or is at the point jeta already judgment ta hoy goise and then the higher court it will uh, squash the term is squash or basically it will nullify the order that the lower court had taken so that is why the term his juntu moy apnaloko koislu prevention is better than cure guli koy right so basically prevention pr it stands for prohibition and cure cu it stands for certiorari etu na nimone hoy for remembering that prohibition e hoda prevent koribo so it will always prevents the high court or the lower court or the tribunal from taking jurisdiction but certiorari is when the jurisdiction is already done and the error has been already done so he error of law that error of law is rectified okay the error of law is rectified and in that case what happens the higher court uh, issues the uh, certiorari as a writ in order to either transfer the case or it will squash the order squash the order means it will just nullify the order that has had been taken so that is the power of the higher court again okay again who da, takes the uh, writ it is issued by the higher court please remember a formula to note rakhi was that the higher court or pra lower court or bostu to goise okay the higher court is always the one who issues the writ okay tate apna loko statement ulta koi diba pare that the lower court is issuing the writ and as a result um who can মানে স্কোয়াচ দি অর্ডার সেই বস্তুটো খেলিমে লাগি যায় সো অলওয়েজ রিমেম্বার ইট ইজ দি হায়ার কোর্ট উইচ ইস্যুজ দি রেট বাট দুইটা কেসত দ্য সিনারিও ইজ ডিফারেন্ট ইন কেস অফ প্রহিবিশন ইন কেস অফ প্রহিবিশন দি পার্টিকুলার হায়ার কোর্ট উইল প্রিভেন্ট দি লোয়ার কোর্ট ফ্রম টেকিং দি জাজমেন্ট অর জুরিসডিকশন বাট ইন কেস অফ সারসরি দ্য জাজমেন্ট ইজ অলরেডি ডান বাট ইট উইল ইদার ট্রান্সফার দি কেস দ্যাট মাইট বি পেন্ডিং ওকে অর দ্যাট মাইট বি or uh, already judgment jot hoigo tate squash kori dibo order to okay so this is the ideal difference between prohibition and certiorari jot it's mostly both of them are <clears throat> only in case of judiciary <clears throat> they are only against judicial and quasi judicial authorities administrative legislative private bodies are against not no hoy yate court er kotha aise so definitely it will be only judicial and quasi judicial authorities so by default we can understand it to common sense hobo jodi ki administrative legislative or private bodies a particular uh, writ to issue korbo mane 
The last writ is quo warranto. So what is quo warranto? <coughs> By what authority or warrant? So here uh, it's basically yate jinto amar keyword hoy. Hito hoy se. Uh, it is issued by the court obviously to inquire okay the keyword is inquiry and what does it inquire it inquires whether the public person uh public office sort claim to lose to correct hoi and hoi okay for example aji more koisu i am the let's say the district commissioner and uh if i want to uh do let's say uh transfer someone from uh uh, let's say I'm the DC of Gulaghat and I want to transfer someone from uh, uh, from Jorhat to Shiv Sagar. Do I have the authority? No, I don't have the authority. But let's say if I do, if I do such a thing, then uh, a writ can be issued to claim whether that person, it he or she has the legality. Okay, we can inquire into it whether he or she has the inquiry. As a district commissioner, can he or she work outside the domains of the particular district Gulaghat? So it's a vague example here. It's not a very perfect example, but just for the understanding. So it is issued by the court to inquire a to keyword okay. Quo warranto by what authority? Quo means by what? Warranto means by authority or warrant. Okay, again a Latin term. So the authority or what kind of uh claims that a person makes to a public office, he to put inquire inquire to say the particular writ writ quo warranto. Okay, it prevents illegal usurpation. If the keywords are okay, then we can also yeah. This it cannot be issued in cases of ministerial office or private office. You should remember, jo kun keta public court private okay, court judiciary court administrative. These are keywords. Ekhi ni apna loke prelims point of view pra perfectly prepared koi bo. No hole gutte writs or you will be very confused. You will be confused which kind of writ. Claims for which kind of office or which kind of uh, public uh, intervention, what I say, which kind of private intervention I say. Hey, Bosuru, you should be very clear. Okay. For example, mandamus is only against public authorities. Uh, in case of habeas corpus, both for private or the or the um, public authority. In case of uh, certiorari and prohibition, only judicial authority. So that should be very clear. In case of poor warranto. It is. Uh, it cannot be issued against ministerial office or private office. So keep a chart of it and then keep a note of it, uh, so that in exam when it comes, a black question apnaal ko jate miss na because these are direct questions. Then unlike the four grids, it can be sought by any interested person and not necessarily by the aggrieved person. Usually, ane ko hoy the person whose rights are violated only he or she can uh, move the court. But here in case of poor warrant, to any aggrieved person can be. Um, like can uh, necessarily issue the writ. Okay, so yeah, the keyword will say inquire. What does it inquire into the claims or the legality of, of the claims of a person to a public office? Okay, not private, not ministerial office. Please keep a note of it. So that was all about writs. Uh, so far, I think fundamental rights are ninety percent, ninety nine percent of it is done. These are the last few topics. Okay. There are some rights which are outside Part Three, but they are still called rights. But they are not fundamental rights. Okay. So he kine apna kita ba ahe mo pare. Which of the following? Let's say the question will be framed like this. Sorry, which of the following are not considered fundamental rights? So tate apna loke kita man right as you should be uh, like aware of. Baki kine general reading di di bo. The main right is this one. This is right to vote. Article number right to vote. Article number three twenty six. Okay, in Part Fifteen. So this is not a fundamental right. Right to vote is not a fundamental right. It is outside Part Three. It is a lot of that my dear right to vote to fundamental right bully, but that is not right. Okay. So this question, uh, point number four, the elections to the Lok Sabha and the State Legislative Assembly shall be based on the basis of adult suffrage, Article Three Twenty Six and Part Fifteen, and this is a this is what is equal to right to vote, Article Number Three Twenty Six in Part Fifteen. This is not a fundamental right. Okay. Baki right to property, Amar abolished hui gosile, right? This is the right to property. It was abolished in Forty Fourth Amendment Act, Nineteen Seventy Eight. Aru pisot ke three hundred eight. Okay. This was included in Part Twelve again as right to property. So it was Amar constitutional, but it is not a fundamental right. Okay, it is not a fundamental right. See the stories behind these, the concepts behind these. These are a part of means from prelims point of view. Then, like stories about how it came, but why this right came into 
uh, the uh, was nullified as a fundamental right has a long story behind why uh, article number 326 is not yet a right to vote it can cure it to particularly fundamental right now these are again added up uh at a basis of the foundational story asset but for now we will not dwell in it we will only work for our uh, prelims point of view so directly fact check to korok apna look baki jodi homo pai definitely you can give it a read but uh, let's say during time constraints due to these time constraints you should mostly focus on get gathering the facts here so hopefully this is understood uh uh, fundamental rights are done as a whole okay uh, these are the directive principles of state policy uh amar is the next topic but before that i would like to discuss some mcqs here and i um, will try to make this session interactive so that wait let me open up the mcq just hold on Okay, so I'll change the screen here. Okay. So I have gathered some questions uh, just so that it tries to or it helps you boost your confidence. Ikini job or MCQ hoy. And you can see that uh you will be able to solve this these questions if you have if you have clearly taken the keywords from the sessions okay so uh yeah question number 29 uh, you can try attempting questions yeah the first question correct the answer dc yeah let's make the session interactive interactive you can uh, Put the answers in the chat box. Which of the following articles of the Indian Constitution enables the state to make provision for reservation and public employment in favor of backward classes? So, what would be the answer here? You can type your answers in the chat box. Okay, Monuj, Rahang, revisit your answer. Yes. Sangamitra Bhattagar, thank you. Ankita Bhuya, thank you. Okay, we'll, we'll discuss the answer quickly, but Tara got up now. Okay, by attempt, we saw. Yes, Ankita Bhuya, rest of, rest of the people. Yeah, I told you in the, uh, I'll quickly discuss this. So, 16, 1, 16, 2, 16, 3, 16, 4. I told you subsections will like important hoy. For Article 15, for Article 17, for um, Article 32, at least you have subsections. So, Article number 16, 4 exactly says, kindly explain once temporary law and why. Okay, okay, I'll get back to it. So, I was saying um, nothing in this, where was it? Yeah, enables the state to make provision for reservation in public employment. So, uh, public employment, the idea to click the question is employment, you have to go back to the particular article. I am employment regarding fundamental rights. I am going to employment. The right to employment or freedom of employment, article number 16, which was a type of right to equality. I told you 16.4. 16.4, please go back to the video, please go back to the notes again. Uh, it refers to it refers to reservation of appointments, but 16.4 of the Arota Amendment was 16.4a. There it was also reservation in public employment, but that was in particularly for the SC and ST promotion. Juntu ama promotional juntu eta amendment was that was added again in 16.4a. Uh, I can show you the slide again. Moi arubar jam. So I'll show you. Uh, so there you can always remember. So one, two, three man important nasile, as I said, four was important. Similarly, in Article 15 also, three, four, five, six, they are important. Six, fifteen clause three, fifteen clause four, fifteen clause five, and fifteen clause six. 
while 15 clause 3 was for women and children reservation 15 clause 4 and 5 they were for SC and ST Sim oh, sorry uh, yeah mostly SC and ST backward classes and 16 uh, June to uh, 15 clause 6 asile, that was for EWS June to ami discrimination or article to go so, right against discrimination on grounds only of religion caste sex uh, or place of birth hit uh, particular article okay Article number 16, employment. So go back. Eta ta ke apna loke word ke ta keywords ke ta thori logo. Jeti aami articles pohi su. Eto to mano rakhi boi lagi boi je 12 or pa 35 ki hoi. So that said you have to remember. 16 falls in the article number. Uh, sorry, article uh, of fundamental rights. So he ni apna loke mano rakhi boi lagi boi. Clause ke ni tar pisa definitely eta next section hoi. You will have to slowly and uh, gradually you will get the idea. Then comes article number 30. A writ issued by a court to some inferior authority to transfer the matter to it for its proper consideration is called. Please try this question. Okay. Okay. Aru? Anybody else? Yeah, that's a good try. Correct. See, Ami Etia Junkini reads Puhi Silu. Very good. Yeah. Right. Jayge, Kimashri, Sanghamitra. Very correct. So now you can understand the idea, right? We don't have to get the entire technicality, but idea too. From an, uh, from the writs that we had done right now, the writ issued by a court to some inferior authority. Inferior authority, means ki higher to lower court asile. So inferior authority dia hoyse. Kyo dia hoyse to transfer the matter to it, right? So here we had done. There was a statement called transfer. Eta mo koislu keyword. Eta mo koislu je when it will squash the order. It, either it will transfer the pending order or it will squash the order as a whole. So both of it can be done under certiorari only. Manda method, you have keyword sale hoy. PDF. Yeah, yeah, sure, Shakti. I will add the PDF. Then Manda method, ki hole keyword to yate when there would have been a word called command or where they would have asked the authority to perform the function. Then about one of the language hole hoy. Who one on two? Jitya kole hoy inquiry, investigate, check into. Then about one of the by inform kora. Then about the hole hoy. Prohibition, they would have asked the uh, lower court or the inferior authority to prevent or to ask the latter to uh, suppress the jurisdiction, something like that. Okay, so anything close to the language of Naluke Sunday Hall. I'll move on to the next slide. Yes, very simple, direct question that we have already done in the class. Which of the following rights, is, rights are not sorry, are available only to the citizens of India? Yeah, to article number of DNA, directly statement to India, sir. Which are available only to the citizens of India. Only five articles were there. And those five articles needs to be considered. Like I said, key available no hoy, it mostly needy. It to mostly no hood hai. Kuntu available hoy, it may hoodie. Now here you can go for elimination method. Okay. We know that every person, whether it's a foreigner or an Indian or a citizen, he or she will be equal before law. So option number two hobo in our option number two that is equality before law. It will be it will be given to both the who to both the citizens and the foreigners. Okay. This we have discussed. So option number two, Jojo Tasi, you can directly reject. So eliminate we will A, C, and D. So directly we have B. One and four. Okay. Oh, yeah, Manuj and Sangam is very correct. So I hope you are getting the idea. Right to equal opportunity in the matter of public employment. Like I said, employment kitiao equally dibon noare. If then you D D A, then uh, already India is a young country with a high dividend, high unemployment. So foreigners of equal opportunity kitiao need it. That's a very common sense. Freedom of religion, definitely. Freedom of religion is given both to the citizens and the and the foreigners because if they are uh, if they have religion, if they have a religion to follow, India da hipna thadi kitiya religion change no kore, but anegwa kitiya kwa na jaye, je this particular uh, people, these particular people from this particular religion cannot enter India. Anegwa kitiya no hoi, everyone has a freedom of religion. Okay, right to freedom under article 19. Yes, article 19 is not available to the foreigners. They cannot freely speak here, even if they speak here, of course, freedom of speech as said, but then, their speech will be restricted. Any derogatory remarks will be considered. Uh, freedom of uh, speech, then association, assembly, foreigners, there is not an utmost freedom. Okay. So, definitely only available those will be 
that will be one and four yeah one and four correct right. employment and the uh, right to freedom under article 19 are we clear here i would require a few responses here are we clear till this question are you able to follow are you able to solve questions others apart from those who are responding okay yeah you can give it a ping you can uh, it will keep a raise hand okay okay if you have any doubts herein you should because these are previous year's question if you are able to solve these questions you will be able to solve questions this year also without any doubt okay anyway next question which of the following is necessary condition for the issue of a writ of quo warranto very easy question i don't think there will be a problem here okay okay yeah this is we have just done very good yeah to secure the release of person who has been imprisoned by a court of law on a criminal charge D. to direct yeah almost very good yes everyone the responses are correct to direct a public officer it would come to order government not to enforce a law which is unconstitutional okay a and b to no and the d which we had just done the office must be public Okay, like I said, statements pillar they will re revolve around keywords only. Yet it is a private DDA hole, we will not go for this. They will always use keywords. Public hoy, yes, quo warranto kane public lage. It must be created by statute, mane statutory hobo lage, or by the constitution itself, which we had done in the uh, statement itself. Very nice. Okay, so I hope you have uh, done. You have very itu itu koro pari. Okay, these questions were a bit controversial. Yate apnar. Uh, 18 to correct nasi less till I have added this. It was the last year's question. You can still try. The options were wrong here. It was question edit kwa hoisle episode ke. We had done rule of law, like I said, judicial review. These are important questions. So you can try question number 18. What do you think will be the answer? The correct answer. Forget the options. So which of the following are regarded as the core features of rule of law? Limitation of powers, equality before law. Liberty and civil rights, yeah, supremacy of law. Okay, let's let's see others also. Let's see Baki Hine Kikoi. B D C okay C C B U Kwese Kunubai C U Kwese Okay C Tasmin Faruki C okay Mobarsha C yeah, the answer should be C only. Okay, I mean equality before law. It forms the basis, right? And uh, supremacy of law, asile because everyone is equal, equal subjection of law. Those things were there. But baki kita amar actually tare bitor limitation of powers ata asile. So anyway, now we'll not go into the details here. The closest answer that we'll take is two and four. Okay, asile. Then thirty-one. Thirty-one. According to the Indian Constitution, judicial review in India is based on. See, we have not done this part because, like I said, it all are parliamentary law related. Hoy. So, procedure established by law, concept of Kurim. Anyway, okay, fine. We can leave this out for now. Uh, we will try 31. You may not try now. We'll do it when we complete parliament. Okay. All right. So, let's get back to the um, laws and consistence, mandamus, prohibition, co warranto. I'll share the screen again. Yes, so we had done this. See, here to statement on my yarpa directly law is like go warrant to when the person has to be a public office or created by the constitution by statute. Statute money act, huh? statutory body ke act will be Oh, sorry, the statement was not shared. So I was talking about this part created by a statute. Statute mane, it's an act, okay. All right, Arveta doubt as I had seen there was a doubt here. Yes, the doubt too. Questions kini was the doubt Okay, uh, temporary law and void. Okay, yad ki explain I mean ki exactly that what is a temporary law? 
temporary law can be anything which uh, which is created as an ordinance then again for a very short period of time okay so that will also be jodi anekot honor ordinance by chance by anekot honor temporary law jodi if it is not inconsistent or it is not following fundamental rights by it is going against the fundamental rights then they will also be considered void asha the word void means they will be cancelled basically they have no action they have no uh they will they cannot be considered as laws then again to be but as a whole you can say that uh there of uh, uh, the moment they will be considered invalid or the moment they will be considered unconstitutional from that point of time they will not be a part of the uh, executive functional hog by legislative functioning hog okay for example uh any then again for unconstitutional to good high five examples as a collegium or hebler examples as a सिम्पल एक्साम्पल बर्तमान तो मन मन पड़ा ना बट एनी एने जिको एक्ट लि बस वेदार इट इज टेम्परि टेम्परि मान हम जो फर अ भेरि शर्ट पीरियड अफ टाइम ल तो बनाय जेने के अर्डिनेसेस बस बन दिए एंड देन इफ इफ इट इज सीन दैट दैट वायलेट्स दि फांडामेन्टल लस देन इट उल नट भी कन्सिडार्ड इट उल नट भी इन टू फोर्स बेसिकलि ओके सो एम आई एम आई एबल टू आन्सार यर क्वेश्चन की नाम आज अंकित जोनकटेडिपल्स was uh, this definition of the country india definition asle part 2 asile amar uh, citizen or definition part 3 da se he citizens ki need fundamental rights part 4 hoise government or duty government or directives to how to formulate laws regulation regulations or karne eta directive hoy eta direction hoy okay that is why these are directive principles of state policy ji kono state or पलिसी बनम जिको लिखी गवर्नमेंट लार्टिकार डिरेक्शन दिया डिरेक्शन डिरेक्टिव प्रिन्सिपल स्टेट पलिस गेट टू नो इट मोर क्लियरलि नम्बर वन यू शुड नो दि आर्टिकल नम्बर टील टूव टू थार्टी फाइव फांडामेन्टल राइट आज आफ्टर थार्टी फाइव फ्रम थार्टी सिक्स टू फिफ्टी वन इट इज डिरेक्टिव प्रिन्सिपल स्टेट पलिस पार्ट फोर ओके प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस It is borrowed from Irish Constitution. Kun kini part four pa borrow hui sile. Eto class ami ho ke ra thulmul ke korem. These are some very small topics miscellaneous that I am going to solve. So this particular uh, DPSP they were taken from the Irish Constitution. Okay, which had again copied from the Spanish Constitution. But jodi apna loko exam ot ahe from where the idea was borrowed, please don't mark Spanish. The answer will be always Irish Constitution. The idea of DPSP has been borrowed from the Irish Constitution. They are known as the conscience of the Constitution along with fundamental rights. So this is a formula: DPSP plus FR is equal to Constitution conscience conscience of the Constitution. Please remember that. Very very important features of DPSP. जैसे कि अमी fundamental rights और features पूरी सिलो. Like they are enforceable, they are justiciable. Okay, they are not absolute except for Article 17. Uh, just like that, you have to also check the features of DPSP. Very very important. फांडामेन्टल राइट और पलिटिकल राइट ओके दे आर अल सीभिल राइट दैट आर प्रोडेड टू आर सीटिजेन एंड दे आर एनफोर्सेबल तार मैं फांडामेन्टल राइट जो भाईलेट हो जाए देन यू कैन गो टू दर्ट एंड यू कैन एनफोर्स दैम यू कैन गो टू दर्ट एंड अपन देर भाईलेन आम रिट्स इश्यू कर पार बट रिमेम्बर दिस डिपिएसपी आर सोशियल एंड इकोनमिक राइट ओके दिज आर सोशियल एंड इकोनमिक राइट यू उल गेट टू नो in a few minutes what exactly is social and economic rights but political no political rights are fundamental rights okay these are social and economic rights and they are non justiciable tar mane jodi dpsp junkini rights ase aro by chance jodi hetu either follow hua nai or else if they are not considered ya fir they are not uh, enforced ba hetu suppose kuma violate koise then you cannot move the court then you cannot go to the court and issue writs no writs can be issued against directive principles of state policy please remember this they are non justiciable 
they are not legally enforceable by courts like i said violation hole they will not be enforced in court like the uh, fundamental rights okay so these are the special features yar bahire baki junkini ase please go and read it general junkini ase aur tinta saita ase sage just like the fundamental rights but you need not worry because uh, mostly ekhi nahi bo baki khine apnaloke general reading marile hol uh, spend more time here in these three four points ekhi ni apnaloke concept to clear rakhibo the directive principles dpsps they are of three types three types one is 36 or 51 okay yare bhitor 37 and 38 oh, sorry uh, 30 sorry my bad my bad here 36 and 37 okay 36 and 37 these are not dpsp jeneke 14 to 35 amar article sorry uh, 12 to 35 amar fundamental rights asile but 12 and 13 were not deep, uh, fundamental rights 12 was definition of state 13 was uh, judicial review then ke in case of dpsp also 36 is definition of state which is the same as fundamental rights definition of state is same as the fundamental rights and 37 is basically je dpsp follow hobo lage ene dhoron eta statement ase you can give this a general read eta examot na hai taneke but just for general information Junkini actual fundamental rights are said. They come from Article Number Thirty Eight. They they start from Article Number Thirty Eight. Okay. So all in total Thirty Eight or Pa Fifty One. Like a Jiman ke ta article are said. Hey ke ta hai total number of DPSP thake. So ke ta ba question to ahe. What uh, what is the total number of DPSPs? So you will count from Thirty Eight to Fifty One. This is your homework. Go and check how many are there. Thirty Six and Thirty Seven will not be DPSPs. Thirty Six is state ka definition. And thirty seven is something about the DPSP. Yeah, a DPSP should be followed when the government is making the law. Here too, in itself, DPSP is written. That's it. Very simply. But from thirty eight onwards, till fifty one, all of them are directive principles. So what exactly it is? Every article, every article or any other statement, dia is, jot, that government or kind of direction hoy. Je, a too, bostu any ke hobo lagye. We'll get to the examples, then you will get it more. और ए थर्टी एट नम्बर फिफ्टी वन तो जिम्मेदार के इतना आर्टिकल आते हैं हेगी ना तीन ता टाइप ऑफ भाग करा आते हैं रैंडमली ऐता सीरीज़ होता है रैंडमली सोशियलिस्टिक प्रिंसिपल्स आते हैं किस्मान गांधीन प्रिंसिपल्स आते हैं एंड देर आर सम लिबरल इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रिंसिपल्स सोशियलिस्टिक Article wise, number wise, then again, no good. But they might ask you. They might ask you which of the following are socialistic principles. Now, Iman kini articles apni from thirty six to fifty one to mukhostomai ko nuare. Rights kini mukhostomai to alab easy hoy because you can just say uh, freedom hok ki ba hok then you separate ko dopai. But DPSP you cannot memorize like that. It's a bit difficult. Or even if you try to memorize, it will take a lot of time. Iman kini time or apna lage current affairs in that topic cover ko dopai. So the idea is let's go with keywords. For example, socialistic mane ki hoy sir. Anything related to the societies, economies, or anything related to the welfare, okay, that will be socialistic. So these are the keywords I have given here. Suppose you see one article that is statement as it, that is written as promote welfare. Suppose there is an article or there is a option which is written as livelihood, okay, uh, free good livelihood or decent livelihood. Livelihood. You see this uh, keyword equitable distribution. Then you will see a keyword called concentration of wealth. Equal pay for equal work, free legal aid, right to work, secure living. See all of these. अपना लोग के देखिए से somewhat somewhere related to the society. कोई बार distribution of wealth को था कोई से, कोई बार district concentration of wealth को prevent पर को था कोई से, equal pay को था कोई से. This is common sense. Okay, they will add up. I Iman yad ke bisi tari next level nidi hai. They will always uh, stick to the uh, content that is in books. So they will use these statements directly. And query bo which of the following is a socialistic principle, which of the following are Gandhian principles, which of the following might be liberal intellectual principles. So all you have to do is look, hold on to the, like I said, hold on to the keywords. For example, the keyword is in case uh, of socialistic principles. And I thought no keywords. Dekhi bo every article has these words. So I've not added all of these, but just one example. Similarly, Gandhian principles or karna, which are the most important principles, you have to remember. Gandhi always said, "Gaon hi basti hai Bharat." I have got a statement as well. So, village panchayats, cottage industries, cooperatives, SCST, bully koi loge loge. Gute directive principle or to call atay article as well, which has SCSTs, which is regarding SCSTs. 
that is article number um, 46 and uh, remember that that is a Gandhian principle okay intoxicating drugs are prohibited for a slaughter of cows these were all Gandhian principles somehow related to panchayats cottage industries cooperatives SCST slaughter of cows re related to the basic uh, setup of a self uh, self government but self uh, atman nirbhar juntu at a concept of asile a concept of apna luke hota gandhian principles dekhi bo okay and the last one is liberal intellectual this is the most easiest to remember anything which is you see which is a bit technical anything which is a bit modernized those principles will come under liberal intellectual for example ucc it's a high funda uh, concept okay everyone is equal here yeah, UCC, that's one rule for all the citizens. Then let's say uh, organizing agriculture on modern and scientific lines. See, the, as the word suggests, liberal intellectual money, kiwata high funda jodia se, those principles or those articles will be under liberal intellectual. Protection, any kind of protection. Jodi apni dekhe article with protection related kiwata se, it will be all under liberal intellectual. Protection of environment, improvement of environment, protection of monuments, that will be under the uh, liberal intellectual. Any kind of this one separation of judiciary from the executive, which is Article 50, and international peace and security promote. Ground. So these are uh, definitely some like like I said, jot all of intellect is it required. Jot all of scientific lines or jodi kiba amar application asse. Jot kiba not obviously if you want to improve improve the uh, environment, you need intellect. If you want to uh, protect monument monuments you need scientific lines you need scientific application then i got one component childhood care education okay education again it will come under intellect okay then i got one keywords will like this will come under liberal intellectual okay after that you should see that uh if there is any any such uh option jodi apna lukar tate site option which of the following is a dpsp then also you can go for look for these particular keywords socialistic keywords gandhian keywords otherwise apart from these you will not find uh, slaughter of cows in any of the articles you will not find village panchayat or formation bahari in any of the articles okay uh, then comes the uh, liberal intellectual uh, improvement of environment mostly yate ase okay so Catch these keywords and you will get to know that these belong to DPSP. So this is one shortcut that you can do. Okay, I have divided the keywords. If you consider these keywords, socialistic, Gandhian, uh, liberal intellectual, it will be more than enough. But some articles you have to know as it is. Okay, there are some articles, five to six articles that you should know. Yeah, this about KBC important is article number 39. So article number 39 from here. Okay. I have uh, every, everything is visible on the screen. Now you guys tell me, a to bostu socialistic hobo, liberal hobo, ne Gandhian hobo. Quickly in a minute, read it. Maureen, I'll read it out for you guys. The right to educate means of livelihood for all citizens, the equitable distribution of material sources, prevention of concentration of wealth, equal pay, okay, preservation of the health, yeah, opportunities for healthy development of children. Any any more answers? Quickly. Himashri, Abhinash, Saikya, yes. Now you're getting the point. So this will be socialistic. Yes, Suraj, that's correct. Yeah. So now you're getting it. And I which of the following are uh, of the DPSPs are socialistic in nature. Let me look at the keywords. All right. Yada jodi ko bar environment ta hi gono that will be liberal intellect. Jodi ko bar village or kotha hi gono village panchayat or kotha hi gono that will be Gandhian principle. So that is the idea. Yeah, they see why is this article important? Because we had done this exception in fundamental rights, in equality. Equality article number 14 or exception at Asile. That Jot 39B Mane clause B and clause C Thakibo, their article number 14 will not be considered. Which means Jodi article number 39B or C Mote government kiba law bunai. Now, what is article number 39B? Equitable distribution of material resources for the common good. Article number 39C it says prevention of concentration of common or oh sorry, concentration of wealth and means of production. Okay, anywhere, anywhere in the country, if the government makes any law against these two, then you cannot challenge it on the grounds that article number 14 right to equality equal protection of law equality of law 
this particular right cannot be challenged or the article of 14 cannot be challenged on grounds that 39 B and C is violating it. Because here we are considering A Bosutu. Because Jodi uh, Amar prevention of concentration of wealth, that means someone is rich, someone is poor. And Enegwa Kibata law Jodi Ami Bonao, Jot Niki, we were trying to get tax version. Okay, to get tax embed to Jiman Amar tax Bahibo. Suppose our earning is more, so Amar tax will be seen. So there you cannot challenge Je. Uh, because uh, article 14 bolta hai ki equality before law ho lage, right but that will not happen that will not happen why because taking tax comes under the ambit che ejon or sorte jodi kunu bai 100 taka kamaise 10% tax lolu jima tar pra ami 10 10 lolu 10 taka lolu but june okol 10 taka e kamai tar pra jodi ami himane lolu hoy 10 taka e tax lolu hoy tetia how will it work? It will not work that way, right? So that is why the person who is earning more, suppose he is going to take 10% uh, tax, he will take 10% tax, but he will take 10% tax. But he will take 100 tax, but just because 100 rupees he earned, he will take 10% tax, 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 then he will be left with nothing. So that is how we prevent the concentration of wealth. Jate the wealth of the particular population is not going to be So this is how that is why we say that when uh, article number 39 B and C against or jitya ami kibara law ba legislation bonibo, he to article number 14 ok challenge jodiu kore, then also it will not be considered ultra virus, unconstitutional or void. Okay. That is why the Supreme Court said where article 31 C comes in, article 14 goes out. Why? Because A clause to 31 C da sila. Ekhina me agote kori sila, but then also I had mentioned that when we will do. Um, uh, the PSP, then you'll understand this concept more. Okay, so is this concept clear? I want a quick answer from all of you because all of technical hoy, but we had done this. Are you clear with this? Okay, okay. I hope everyone is clear with this. All right. So these are the other articles. What the list koi diso? Abnaluki to please check koi logo. Jundu village panchayat kotha asile. That was article forty. Okay. Jundu Cooperative Societies, that was Article 43. This was recently added. You can go and check in the amendment. Again, I'm making it but still. UCC, very important. That is Article number 44. 46, like I said, SCST, before entire article as the DPSP. 48 is modernization of agriculture. 48A is protection and improvement of environment. 50 is separation of judiciary from executive. All right. So, that is mostly about the uh, DPSP. Our fundamental duties are only this particular slide is important. It was inspired by the USSR. Direct question I have. 42nd amendment would add with 4A is the new, uh, new like what do you call this um, uh, act, um, like uh, part which was added to the constitution after the fundamental rights. Swaran Singh committee um, our recommendation is This committee is very 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 important. List of fundamental duties to so, apna general reading ya tadi bo, then again nahe. Features are very important, but then again general reading. Junki ni ami already pohi aisu. And there is a Verma Committee on Fundamental Rights which was formed. They had checked che, uh, fundamental duties or against or kisu mana mai legislations boni sile. So this is a very common hiri. Ekhi ni apna loke directly sabo pare. There is not much to discuss on this. Important key points are added here. Ekhi ni apna prelims point of view pa important hai. Okay, so DPSP, I had discussed what is important from prelims point of view. Yar bahire junki fundamental rights hawk, preamble hawk, constitution hawk, like fundamental duties hawk. Abna luke Lakshmi Kanba, NCR did our extra good information pabo regarding criticism, regarding safeguards, regarding many things. But prelims are hekini na hai. They are never covered. Whatever is covered in prelims, we have discussed here. If you have the time and capacity, then you can go for the next things. But any major things are that you have to cover without any fail. Till fundamental duties, it is over. Okay. From this class. So, uh, from tomorrow onwards, we'll do this part. Constitutional amendments. And that is what I mean. I four five days or possibly we'll finish the polity part. After that, we'll start with geography and economics and then finish with history. So today's class is done here. If you have any more doubts, uh, I'll keep the session open for 2-3 minutes and then I'll close it. Okay, I will...
or mute option to apnalo ko off kor disu if you have any doubts then you can turn on the microphone okay if you have no more doubts then i will close the session okay all right then uh if that is all then thank you very much uh, we'll meet up again tomorrow same time or day hopefully we'll follow i mean solve a few more questions and uh the video sessions you know agor ki miss koi se you can go back and check the videos that are already uploaded in youtube in case of any doubts you can definitely uh, ping me over whatsapp now in the class itself all right Thank you so much.